up guys so today i wanted to do a quick review on a wig that i purchased from amazon um so far it looks nice um no complaints there so we're gonna see how like the knots bleach and all this stuff and see like if you know it's worth it it was a great price by the way um it's 180 density 20 inches it has like blonde highlights it's really pretty so it comes in a pack like this very cute you get like a wig cap the wig comes like in a bag like this all right and sweet girl it says a hundred percent human hair wig can be dyed can be bleached. I have to bleach the knots. So, I mean, I don't have to. Mm, I don't have to bleach the knots, to be honest with you. Like, I don't have to. Because I don't want to, like, I don't want to over process it, but. I want it to be just a little, little lighter so that I can, so that when I put the foundation um, to blend it in, it looks a little nice. But I don't know. If I do bleach the knots, I'll let you guys know. But honestly, the knots are beautiful. Like, this is a beautifully made wig. It comes with a strap already, which I love. I have a fairly small head, so I love that it already comes with this. I usually put my own bands on there, but the fact that it already has a band, that saves me time, which means that all I have to do, honestly, is just shape it like I want to. Put the baby hairs, I'm trying to pop this off. Put the baby hairs. See, easy pop off. Let's see how it looks right out the pack. Okay, like right off the pack, like I told y'all, I don't, oof, I don't know. I don't think I need to bleach it. But I do, I do intend on washing it. It has like, it's not like a bad smell, but it has like that new wig smell. And I like my hair to smell like my, um, my shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I use, um, Aussie and I like my hair to have that smell. I don't really care for the hair smell, the new wig hair smell, so I am going to wash it. Now, it is so soft. It's going to be, I'm gonna have to adjust it a good amount, like I said, because I do have a small head, so just about this, I have to cut off. I just have to be careful not to, you know, cut the straps. I had to cut off behind the ear, but like, honestly, if let's say you bought this and you had somewhere to go like that same day, all you have to do is cut and put on and it's good to go, to be honest. But me, I don't need this until tomorrow, so... I have time to play with it, wash it, but I do, I love the highlights. I love the highlights and I feel like if I do bleach it, bleach the knots just a little bit. Um, I have um, 20 volume developers, so nothing too crazy and 
I might put it in there just for like five minutes just to lighten it just a bit so that when I part my hair, see that? When I part it, the parts are like a little more sharp where you don't see where you don't see the knots as much. So we're gonna see how this holds in washing, bleaching the knots, cause I'm gonna bleach the knots before I wash it because I want the lace to be dry. And then I'm going to wash, condition it, and I'm going to cut the lace and I'm gonna come back to y'all and let y'all know how all of that went my review if anything is falling out or anything like that but i'll be back i'm gonna take care of it i'm gonna cut the lace again i'm not gonna do too much i'm just cutting the lace here cutting around my ears i have this thing with my ears like i just don't like a lot of stuff around my ears so i'm cutting right here right there and honestly i'm just going to just trace the hairline Nothing too major, just the basics. And I'm going to come back and see because if this takes curls, I'm definitely going to go back and buy another wig from them. But I'll be back when I'm done with it. Alright, so before I forget, this is the powder I'll be using. And this is the developer that I'll be using. So... You know, just in case you wanted to know what I'm using, this is it. You know, I just get it when I need it. I don't buy them in bulk because, you know, I'm just one person. I'm not making, like, massive wigs or bleaching massive wigs at a time. So, you know, I get, I get it as needed or whatever to make sure that every time I get a batch, it's always fresh. So, this is what I'll be using to bleach the knots. What's up guys so i'm back the lace um i was able to bleach the knots beautifully it took maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get like where i desire it for it to be and the only thing that i i'm going to go back to fix after i dried the hair i realized is that there are some lines of demarcation and i just want to fix that so that when i wear my hair straight I won't have like any issue with that. I mean, like you can see it right here. It's not that bad because while I was bleaching the knots, I kind of just, I try to fix some of the ones that I do see. So now it's, you know, some of them is fixed, but because it's such a lighter blonde, um, I'm gonna have to go back in, like really go back in. But other than that, like, I love the wig. I had to um, customize the band that it came with because the circumference of my head is usually smaller than most wigs. So that wasn't like anything new. So that's not really a complaint. I just, I had to edit it because I don't, not edit, I had to customize it because since I don't wear lace glue, I need my lace to like lay flat. The only thing that I use is got to be. So I wanna make sure like from the beginning, everything is laying flat. And then when I do my baby hair, it's like melted to the skin, you know? But I love it. It's like 20 inches. It took curls really nice. I did one curls. I also, you know, I cut so like my ears could breathe like I really like this for the price this is a nice wig so I'm going to put this in my storefront for you guys and I'll take some pictures tomorrow and post them if I have time all right